Okay, I'm going to attempt to install a IPA font for my Macintosh. This is, I can't remember exactly which version of Macintosh I'm using here, or Mac OS X, but just in case you're in this boat, if you're in my 341 class or whatever, this might be able to help you out. I'm using OS X El Capitan, so I think this is from about 2017 or so. Uh, you probably have a newer operating system, but I just tried it on my newer operating system on my laptop and it worked. I made a little cheat sheet for myself to kind of clue me through the steps. So I'm going to follow those and hopefully you can follow along and um, install this with, with success on your own machine. So anyways, uh, where I'm getting my IPA font from is uh, the SIL site. So this is um, just kind of the home SIL site for Dulos SIL. As I mentioned in class, Dulos is the ancient Greek word for slave. I'm not entirely sure why they picked that name for this, but there you have it. Uh, if you go to this site, I'll post these links um, to the bottom of the video when I post this to YouTube, but if you go to this site, it has a download link. I've already clicked through to here, uh, and that gives you a, a variety of links you can use um, for your machine. I'm going to just grab one here that's for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. Uh, it's just a zip file. It's very small, 1.2, 1.3 megabytes. Um, so download it, save it, and then unzip it. Looks like I had done that before at some point, but I know I haven't installed this before. So what you need to do with this, and again, this worked on my laptop. Hopefully it works on my desktop here as well. But um, what you need to do is open up that folder. This machine's a bit slow at this point. It got refurbished in 2017, but it's actually from 2008. So uh, there's one file in here, the TTF file, which matters. I think it's a true type font. I think that's what it means. So uh, go to your library on your hard drive, wherever it might be. Um, I always have my hard drive icon um, just visible on the desktop at all times, but you can also go through the finder. Um, you can go to, uh, I think your computer will give you the same thing, right? So it'll give you Macintosh HD. Go to library, go to fonts, and you can see there's all these existing true type fonts in here. Grab this guy and drag it in there. Oh, I already got one. Well, you can do that and hopefully it's fresh for you. Um, I'll just say stop, but basically there should be one there. Uh, the hard part is actually getting to be able to use it. In order to do that, what you want to have is a keyboard that you can access easily. Um, I'm going to point out I have this little icon up here on the top of my screen, which is basically uh, something that enables me to access my keyboard preferences at uh, the spur of a moment. Um, to be able to make use of that, I'm going to go to this link, um, which I found earlier, and it's not immediately obvious exactly where to find it from here. Maybe character set support, I don't know. But I'll post the link to the bottom of the YouTube video. Um, and I'm, what I want to do is grab this icon or link that says uh, Macintosh, Macintosh keyboard one, version 1.5. This is from 2013, but it's it's always worked for me and I'm used to it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, there seems to be a slightly newer version as well available. So I'll save that um, and then double click on the DMG icon. It should pop open and give me two little things I can work with here. Uh, I guess this, should, this will just take a little while and there we go. Yes, so we've got two things here. One is um, a PDF. Uh, I might already have this on my desktop. We'll see if it complains. Uh, you can drag that to your desktop because what this will show you is all the codes you need to use to make this work once you actually get the keyboard installed. Um, this has lots and lots of text about whatever, but this basically shows you that like, uh, if you want to say, use the ESH symbol, you need to say, click or type the equal sign and then S, so on and so forth. All the different codes you need to actually get those IPA characters out onto something like a Word document, but it's got this other file here, which is has an extension of key layout. So I'm going to do is go back to my library. So remember, this is in my Macintosh hard drive. Go to library, and what I want is the input methods folder. And I'm just going to drag that key layout to my input methods folder. It needs to authenticate this, so I have to type in my password. Um, which I'm not going to tell you, but you're going to have to use the one that you have for yourself. Um, so use it wisely, as always. 
All light for good, never evil. Anyways, it's there, uh, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what I need to do though is um, add it to my input preferences if I can. So I got this these instructions from this third link, which was very useful and also is touting another keyboard layout for Mac OS X, which I've never used, so I can't recommend it, but it's newer, so maybe it's better. Anyways, you can try that if you want. Um, basically, follow the instructions here. It's relatively straightforward. So uh, I have my keyboard preferences icon up here. If you don't have that, you should have that because it makes your life a lot easier if you're a phonetician or a linguist in general. So you can go to your system preferences up here in the upper left corner of your Mac desktop, click on keyboard, and then go to input sources. I've already got this checked, but what you want to do is have this checked right here, which says show input menu and menu bar. It's already checked, so I can just access it a lot more quickly. So I'm gonna do that directly this way, open keyboard preferences, I'm gonna get the same dialog box here. Uh, input sources, what I need to do is add the Dulos SIL um, font that I got. I've got various languages here that I can use, but I'll just add the new one. So hit that plus icon and then click on others, and you should be able to find it right here. Um, click on IPA Unicode, add, and it's right there. Um, I've got this all set up so I can quit out of my keyboard preferences. And if I go, here's my little cheat sheet for everything I need to use. Um, this is just my Word document. I'll make a new page and maybe I'll make this a lot bigger so you can see it better. But to actually use this, all I need to do is go back up here. Hopefully this will work, fingers crossed. Go to IPA Unicode, and if I want that S symbol, type equals S, and ta-da, I've got IPA font on my Macintosh. Uh, I don't know what else to type here, but there's lots of different things you can play around with. I'm sure you know the drill um, because you've taken my class, or at least are, in take, are taking my class at the moment. Anyways, that's how you do this. I think I'm gonna stop there and post this video and also post the links in the cheat sheet um, if you should need them. Hopefully this helps. Um, have fun.